Hello! In October I decided to do some mossy experiments just for fun um, and this is going to be the update of it. It's going to include three videos, updates, and they're all to do with moss. We'll watch it to the end because there's a few surprises along the way. Some things worked, some things didn't. I'm doing this after I've made the video, which is weird and feels really strange. So strap yourself in, it's, it's, it's quite a long video really, I think, uh, but I, it's well worth it to, to, to see uh, what works and what doesn't, and uh, what kinds of moss work and what don't. So let's get on with it, and we're gonna check out my pizza dishes first and, and see what the crack is. Okay, this is the first one. This was, uh, it's, it's simply an old, uh, I think it's an enclosure to be honest with you. I think I used to have snails in this or something weird like that. Um, and now I've just, it's, it's, it's uh, now a carrier. As you see, I've got uh, little Petri dishes in here. Little four ounce Petri dishes. And this was the one I did on, um, a, as a YouTube short. And I think this one failed miserably. It was kept quite cool. I haven't really paid much attention to it. But I did nicely label everything at least. So I'm going to have a look at these now and we're going to see if uh, if any actually went anywhere. All it was was um, I put some stones in here, some drainage stones I had from making a terrarium and uh, then chopped moss up and dropped it on the top of them. So and then give it a little label after identifying them. And uh, let's see what happened because some I think may and some may not. This is really super difficult to get because the depth of the tub I've just found out is a little too much for the macro lens. You know, it appears if it will focus. That uh, This has not only started to grow on nothing but on nothing but rocks, um, it's actually attached itself to the stones. So it is growing in one place only. And this is one pot, so I'm gonna check some more now. This is a second pot of Tortula Morales and uh, it does not wanna focus at all. Not happy about the idea of focusing, but this one seems to be doing pretty much the same. It is, it is growing, and it has attached itself to the rock. I don't know if you can see shoots coming up from there. It's like long shoots. So. I'm gonna pop these back in, these seem to be okay. I'll pop these back in the uh, little thing where they was and uh, hopefully they will cover the rocks, which will be nice. Let's check another one. This one is uh, Brian Lissaire. It doesn't seem to have uh, taken quite like the other one. It's not dead, I can see it's green. So there's still hope, I suppose. Some mosses take a really really long time to actually get off the ground and get started so I have like three tubs of each so I'm gonna call this one as uh, a draw this one is neither winning nor losing so we'll just have to wait and see what happens over time and a different one Plasiomium or baby tooth moss which is uh, one of my favorites this one is growing this one we can see the little green shoots. This was brown when I put it in. Um, and now it's going green. So I'm seeing some green going on there. But again, this has been six weeks nearly. And this is all we've got out of it. This tiny bits of few threads here and there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna check another moss now because I've got three videos here to make up for. So I'm gonna check another moss and uh, let's see what we get. They're all like this. All the baby tooth moss, there's four of them and they're all similar to this one. And sadly, Polytrichium, which is uh, hair cat moss. This has died. 
Or at least I think it's dead. I'm going to leave it in these tubs anyway. Uh, might as well if I've got to wait for the other ones. So, but to me, this looks like it's dead. This, this is definitely a fail. So Politra gave me no good doing this method with. Uh, this this is an absolute failure. So, short wrap one up. Let's move on. This is one of the ones I really wanted to see. I was going to do them in order, but it means going outside and I can't be public because it's bloody freezing. So I'll go outside in a bit. This is a, a sphagnum moss that we did a month and a day ago. So if I can get all it off, you can see what's happened to sphagnum moss. Aha, well, I can already see it. Now, one sec, let me get out of the way. I don't know if this makes any difference. But as you can see, there's green shoots in there. And the sphagnum moss is actually starting to grow. So that's a good thing. Unfortunately, the light drives my camera insane for some reason. Look at that. Look at that. Don't know why. It's my sphagnum moss box, as you see. It is definitely, definitely growing. Definitely growing everywhere. Shoots everywhere on it. So yeah, this definitely works. It's only been a month. So let's take this back where it came from uh, and leave it. And this is another box. And I'd be very careful with the light because as I say, it's driving my camera insane. Uh, this is one where I got sphagnum moss and I planted uh, chunks of uh, thread moss in uh, in rows that you can't see anymore and on the other side I've just uh, on this side I just cut up uh, the thread moss into tiny pieces and uh, dropped it on top so I'm gonna give it let's go and have a look at a better look at it like the last one and uh, see what see what's happened well there's absolutely no doubt in my mind this moss has gone crazy in a month. This is a lot bigger than it was. Hell of a lot bigger than it was, in fact. And bonus, the chopped up moss. Whoop, get a focus. Has grown just as well. So I've doubled my money. Well, this is a fantastic way of, uh, of doing it, which is just chucking the moss up, dropping it straight onto uh, a wet sphagnum base. And I've ended up with uh, crazy growing insane moss. And this has only been a month for this one, which is not very long for moss at all. So that's great news. Can't wait to see the other ones now. Well, this one doesn't look as promising, but it also doesn't look dead. So I'm gonna take it over there and have a, have a better look at it. Yeah, this, this one I planted out in little rows, tufts. You can actually see new shoots coming, but some of it has gone brown at the base. And I think that is simply that the soil or the substrate is, is too wet, especially on this side. So it might be an idea to leave the top off this for a few hours and see if I can dry it out a little bit. Not too much, of course, it's moss. Uh, and then uh, pop the lid back on and see what happens again in a month. For this one, I've skipped the table. We're going straight to the desk. And this was again substrate and it was moss chopped up. This was Hitman moss, I think, if I remember rightly. Just chopped up and sprinkled on the top. Now it's not dying. And some of it is actually starting to grow, and that's that's uh, feather moss, I think, there in that corner, not hit them. Um, so it is starting to grow, but this is going to take some time. It seems to prefer the sphagnum rather than it does the substrate. I don't know why, but you know, what can you do? That's why we experiment is a much more traditional way of uh, cultivating moss on a larger scale only slightly um, this is a storage box 
and this is where I, I went out and cultivated, uh, collected some moss and just planted it in here. And this is, this, this box is freezing. And it's really, really cold, as you could probably see there. But, <laughs> I have bonus plants as well. So, <sighs> this is, um, this is quite amazing. This has done really, really super well. Um, and this is on layers, pretty much like a terrarium. So there's a, a layer of stones in the bottom, and then there's a, an organza sheet on top of that, and then some soil. And then the hypnomoss in here has grown insane. And so is the baby tooth, and I've got some bonus plants. And some time moss, I believe, there, even though that was in there before. So I'm going to have a look at that now, and hopefully my camera won't go insane if it does, I'm going to move. So let's find out. Look at that. You can see how much this moss has grown. This wasn't like this when I put it in. This was just a flat piece of moss. You can check the video if you want and see if you don't believe me. And I've got some bonus bittercress here. Not quite sure what that one is, but this is definitely bittercress. So that's great. And uh, lots and lots and lots of uh, Morales here. This is great. This is really growing well as well. And uh, yeah. And this is thyme moss, I do believe. I'll have to check that. Um, but let's have a look. A better site here. Yeah, this this is uh, filled out quite nicely, or at least it is filling out quite nicely. Looks like soon there won't be any gaps in between here. Uh, I don't know why there's a gap here. There's one little gap here, and this is like sphagnum moss. This 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 appears to be on sphagnum. This that's that's fern moss. There's fern moss there. You can possibly see that. I don't even know what was planted in here because I just grabbed this when I went out. And uh, this is what I came back with, and this is what I've got now, which is great because I have another 11 boxes of these. So I'm okay for winter. And this has been outside in just daylight. No special lighting, no special heating, and it's cold. And this is what I've got, including bonus plant. Awesome. Well, that was it. I hope, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. That was just, just fun for me, basically. Um, the, the experiments was hit and miss here and there. I quite like the little plastic tubs that I, that I had before. I, I think I'm definitely going to be using them again. But preferably, when I sort out some lighting up for here. Um, the, the one that amazed me the most was the, what, the one that's been outside for six weeks, I think it is. It's just been left there in the open. Uh, in a really, really cold weather, um, and and it did so well, really, really did well. Uh, Spagnum moss is going to grow. I can see that um, the uh, the thread moss is definitely going to grow. That was just going insane. I'm not too sure about all the um, the, the guys in petri dishes, but I think some of them are going to attach themselves to the stones, and I'm going to end up with moss covered little stones but that's going to take quite a long time uh, and it's just one of the things I'm just going to stick them in, in one of those storage boxes I think and pop them outside and try to forget about them really and come back to them uh, maybe in spring and, and see what I've got I mean moss is, is fantastic it is a waiting game it is a long time uh, and if you are interested in growing moss so cultivating it like I do uh, the best thing to do is uh, the, the large storage boxes like you saw before uh, you can keep them inside, you can keep them outside as long as they've got light and as long as they never dry up they will be okay and it's always good fun if you do them uh, especially if you've got as many as I have you know, you, you, you've got like a dozen boxes if you can do them every two weeks create a new box and by the time you're creating the last box you can go back to the first box and start stealing things out of it uh, and then you can just simply add A, replace it or B, stick it to the back, forget about it, 
and you know we do a rotation system and you never ever ever run out of moss you've always got moss that i've been in positions and situations where i've needed to make i don't know 10 15 20 of these things and i still had plenty of moss left over i never ever run out of moss and if you do go out and collect it doesn't matter if it's snowing doesn't matter if it's raining doesn't matter if the sun's shining just go and get yourself some moss plant it up and cultivate it and away you go so if you like this please give it a like and subscribe and i'm going to be coming back with more updates on boss i'm going to keep this uh little i could call it a series now because there's two of them um, I'm going to keep this going and I'm going to keep looking at the, my different mosses because uh, I have a lot of different species of moss uh, in different methods. The ones that I know, how they're going to work. But I'm going to be looking at things like growing moss on bark, growing moss on, on rocks. There are different ways. The experiments I've done here today are simply just experiments. So just chopping up moss, chucking them in uh, and see what happens really. Uh, but there are some things that I do know how they are going to react yes they will work no they won't work i know the difference and i'm going to be doing some of those experiments too and you can do them along with me and you'll end up with your own uh mossy bark or mossy rocks or you know uh even go to the extent i think of showing you what landmass will live in uh water because there are some that will survive in water and out of water but I'm going to be doing that when I do my paludarium update, which I bought a hook for. So I'm going to be putting a waterfall in there. I don't know if it's going to be before Christmas because everything is insane here. My wife absolutely loves Christmas and everything's gone Christmas mad. And it's just crazy. So yeah, thanks for that. Thanks for watching. Uh, and I'll hopefully see you again next time uh, with Experiments in Moss. See you later.